Teresa Dufour with your CT Style Express Report. As students head back to college, classes might look a little different, but there are certainly plans in place at Porter and Chester Institute. Here with all the details are President and CEO, Jim Beloga, and we also have with us today Corporate Director of Career Services, Chris Shepley. Gentlemen, thank you for chatting with us via Zoom. Thank you for having us. Sure. Thank you. Uh, so, Jim, just take us back a little bit. I know you were able to adjust, you went online, but now students are heading back to campuses for labs. Talk to us what's happening this semester. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, as we've sort of talked in, in the past, uh, um, we, we brought all of our students back onto our campuses in early June and um, to do their lab work. And, um, and so we continue with uh, what we call remote learning or blended learning, where the students are spending uh, time learning online, um, uh, their didactic or lecture type material. And then what they do is they uh, coordinate with their instructors and they're actually coming to, onto our campuses to work in our industry model labs to do all their hands-on training and education that takes place in that environment. Great, and Jim, I know that there are uh, career services over at Porter and Chester Institute. What exactly does that mean and how do you help students? Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really an exciting uh, team that we have and uh, they spend a lot of time uh, with our students as soon as they uh, uh, enroll in, the, in, in our school and begin in, in, in the program of their choice. Um, and, and what they will do is they will uh, take the student through a life cycle of career and professional development so that when students uh, graduate, uh, generally our programs are about 12 months in length, a little bit longer in the evening. Um, but when students graduate, they're, they're really uh, uh, graduating, uh, prepared to uh, become employed. And um, you know, our, our goal is to have every graduate leave uh, school with a job in their career. And so our career services teams work with our students to uh, develop their, um, I'll call it their elevator pitch. Uh, they work to develop their, uh, uh, their, their resume. Uh, they'll go through mock interviewing process. And, and there's a host of other things that we do along the way um, in terms of helping the students, you know, how to dress, how, you know, how to be, how to be prepared for your first interview. Um, you know, all the little things that I think many of us uh, who've worked for a while take for granted. And um, it's, it's really, uh, the team does a great job. And um, I, I think they really help our students gain those, those uh, professional and career development skills that are just uh, what employers are looking for. Sure, absolutely, so necessary. And Chris, uh, how has career services kind of changed during COVID-19? Um, yes, it's it's been a, an exciting time. Certainly, um, you know, we've had to rethink the way we interact with our students on a on a daily basis. Uh, you know, traditionally we've held professional development seminars and classes. You know, live on site, we'll go into the classrooms and and interact that way. Um, but COVID's provided, you know, some, some unique opportunities to kind of go outside of the box. And we've pivoted to uh, an online curriculum. Um, and it's been interesting because it's allowed us to actually do some things that we haven't been able to do in the past. So um, we're partnering with some unique vendors and, and we're using software to do mock simulation and interviews where students are, are, are you know, recording themselves and seeing it play back, um, you know, after the interview. So it's been challenging, but it's also been great because we're doing things differently and using technology um, to really kind of challenge students, uh, you know, down their, their career path. So it's been, it's been uh, rewarding, um, but uh, certainly quick. Yeah, I could imagine, but you've adjusted and it's such an important service for students. And what I think is great is that you don't have to be a current student. You could be a graduate and still take advantage of this. It, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're really working hard to build uh, a strong alumni network with all of our students. I mean, ideally, you know, we're here to help our students when they graduate, connect with their employer for that first opportunity, but really start to cultivate that long-term relationship. So a lot of our students will be working with us and we'll help place them into their, you know, job, their first managerial job, uh, whether it's in the trade or in a medical office. And, and so that's equally as rewarding when you see a student come back to you, you know, three, four years down the road and, uh, and looking for a different type of help, but, but still, you know, very rewarding. Sure. Can you give us some examples of employers hiring PCI students? Um, yeah, it's actually, it, it's interesting because um, 
you know, in, in the last probably year, we've really uh, made a push to start working with our employers in, in a different way and start partnering with them. I mean, we want them to hire our graduates when they leave school, uh, but we've also had more and more employers start to reach out and ask us if we can help train some of their current workforce. Um, a great example of this is we were touring uh, Pratt & Whitney uh, just outside of Hartford and uh, walking through the plant, I had three or four alumni come up and uh, introduce themselves and say, hey, you know, I graduated from Porter and Chester, you know, 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Um, so that was that was really rewarding and certainly I think speaks to, you know, to our programs. Um, another great example of that is uh, we have a gentleman who's at BMW. Uh, in their corporate office, and he handles all of the uh, the trainings, uh, you know, for the company nationally. Uh, does a great job and is a real supporter of the school. Um, and then one final story: um, we had a, a company uh, just outside of Hartford called Siftex. Uh, they're a manufacturing, um, you know, company, and they hire a lot of our CAD um, uh, computer aided drafting and design students. They hired two, uh, you know, about three weeks ago. Um, they've been so impressed with the training that they want us to come in and train some of their current staff um, in 3D modeling and using 3D printers for injection molding. So stories like that are really what you know makes this job great, and it's what keeps us you know going as uh, an organization to uh, service our students. Absolutely. And lastly, Jim, before we say goodbye, uh, the next class for students to enroll. Yeah, so we're enrolling right now for our fall term, which begins on Monday, October 19th. Um, and so, you know, again, it's uh, it's not it's not too late. Uh, uh, we uh, we we do uh, we do have uh, a, a lot of folks reaching out to us right now. I, we get beyond the Labor Day weekend, and, and I think folks uh, realize that uh, you know summer is beyond us, and they they now need to get serious. And sure, it's and, uh, you know, and, I, and I would just and I would just add add on to Chris, you know, that um, it's uh, it's 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 amazing, you know, for our institution, which has been around for almost seventy five years. Um, you know, the stories uh, of our, our alumni and, um, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly trying to get better in terms of connecting with them. So hopefully some of them will see, uh, you know, see this, um, uh, this segment and uh, hopefully we'll reach out to either Chris or I, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's awfully rewarding, uh, you know, when you bump into a, you know, a graduate from, you know, five, Absolutely. 10, 15, 20, you know, 30 years, 40 years ago. Well, you're doing great things, and of course, you can learn more over at porterchester.edu. Gentlemen, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.